all you have to do is swim. And it's, that's just so fun for me and it's so thrilling for me. And so we, Todd and I talked a lot about it, my coach, because we knew that if I did choose to compete in the 200 free and 100 back, that would be a possibility of that happening so at trials. a long time before. Yes, yeah, so this was talking. months before um, at trials and then hopefully at the Olympics. And so, I mean, going to Grand Prix meets throughout the season, we would always try and do events that were close together. So we would get practice with that. And over the summer, we had full practices that were only two hours apart. So we would go from 5.30 to 7 in the morning and then 10.30 to 12.30 in the morning. And it was just so tough having that, but I know now that without it, I wouldn't have been able to do that. And I think one thing that a lot of people don't know is Todd actually wrote me a note before my 100 backstroke. And he had me put it in my jacket because before every race, he would always talk to me and, you know, do this, do that, and just remember to have fun. And he'd, we do it every single race, and we knew we wouldn't have the opportunity to do that this time. So he wrote me a note, I put it in my pocket, and I got out of the 200, it was in the ready room for my 100 back, and I read this note and just knew that I could do it, because I knew that he was there with me. And he Can you share what the, the, the Yeah, I'll try, it, I'll try and remember it, but basically he was just telling me that he knew I was ready, and that I could do anything that I dreamed of, and. I just needed to put a smile on my face and have fun. So, so after the 200 freestyle, you went immediately over to the diving well and started warming down. When you were warming down, did you feel okay about how you were loosening up for the next one? And, and because you only had what five minutes to be able to do something like that, because yeah. you had to get to the ready room. Right? Yeah. Well, Fina was awesome, and they let me use the war um, the diving well for a warm down. So that was definitely an experience. But I, again, you don't really have time to think. I was just really, really excited about making finals for the 200 free. So I was thrilled with that. And I was <laughs> stoked to swim the 100 backstroke. So I was just happy and swimming like I always am. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what's so crazy about you, man. That, and, and, and it was so funny because we were backstage and Jenny and Missy gave each other a big hug. And Jenny said she was such a big fan. And Missy was, oh, I'm such a big fan of yours. And it was just like, you know, she's just so relaxed and such a cool cucumber. You think, where is she? Yeah. Right? You, you have a wisdom that's way beyond reach. Yeah. It, and, and I'm and wondering, you, where, how how do you tap into something like that? Where do you where do you find that? Where you're you're so relaxed, and you look like you were enjoy, you were really genuinely enjoying the moment of the Olympic Games. And I think some of us in our Olympic Games, at least me. I really didn't enjoy it very much because I was always thinking about being so nervous, you know, and, and so scared a lot of times. So it just seems like you were really just having a good time. I was. I was having the time of my life. I had so much fun this summer. I, not a day goes by that I don't think about it, but I think a huge part of that is my parents and my coach and just how they've raised me to have faith in the work that you've put in and everything that you do every single day to get better and just when it comes to that moment of being ready, just knowing that you are, and not having to worry about the small things because you've worked on them and you know that they're gonna be ready. So just to go out there and enjoy it because you've done all the work and now it's just your time to have fun. Right. It is impressive. Isn't it? <laughs> uh, so 